everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I was thinking today I was going to do sort of like a collective haul of things that I've got so far. So it's about six weeks until I go. Um, so it's May the 9th um, and if you are new here um, and if you're if you're not new then I'm sorry for mentioning it again but um, if you're new then I do have a flight booked on May the 9th um, to go to Singapore and it's a one way so I'm planning to go travelling and then eventually settle down and teach somewhere either sort of Vietnam, Cambodia and um, that type of thing. So I've actually finished my TEFL course now which I'm so glad to see the back of. So 120 hours online and 20 hours in class and um, teaching so I'm so glad that that's all over and done with it's sort of like a weight off my shoulders I've got it done got my certificate um, and got that boxed off so I'm really happy I did mine with a company called i to i Tefl um, but yeah I would definitely recommend them and I can leave their link down below if you are interested if you are thinking about taking up a Tefl course um, but yeah I would recommend going through those um, but I know there's so many companies out there and um, obviously I've only used the one but my experience with them has been as been pretty good so um yeah so I wouldn't sort of fault them in any way. I'm gonna sort of take you through on what I've got so far. Um I bought quite a bit. I've started to buy a bit a few more clothes, some bikinis. There's just a few little bits and bobs that I need but I have got the majority of it now so it is quite exciting. It's sort of all be all materializing and it just gets me really excited. But yeah I'm gonna stop blabbering um and I'll show you what I've got so far. So I'm going to start off by showing you sort of like the main bit. <laughs> so this is sort of my big pack, backpack. So I've not recently bought this. I've actually had this for quite a while. It opens at the front. So it's not one of them where you need to put everything sort of <laughs> into your backpack. <laughs> what is that? Um, where you need to sort of put it through the top and like, you know, stuff it down. You know what I mean? But yeah, so this one I'll just quickly show you. So it's orange, bright orange. And it's by the brand. Cool. Quetcha? 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 God knows. Bye. Quechua, that brand, anyway, um, and it's from somewhere called Decathlon, this one is a 60 litre, so it is quite big, um, I'm obviously, I'm going to be planning to pack light because I don't really want to be lugging things around which are too heavy for me, because um, obviously I'm not going to have anyone there to carry it, so I'm not going to pack it sort of jam packed, I'm going to keep everything quite minimal, um, it's got the straps on the back so you can sort of fasten that round your waist a bit more support and obviously like padding here just like any usual <laughs> big backpack really um, but what I like about this one like I said it, you don't have to put anything um, through the top so there is a bit at the top with sort of like a drawstring um, thing and um, that you can put things in so if you wanted to you can do it that way and um, so you put everything in the top but this one it's actually got a sorry I'm really not good at this it's actually got a zip bit here so you literally just unzip this and you can just get into the whole backpack there so it's sort of like you've still got a case you've still got the ease of the case in terms of sort of getting things in and out it's got loads of pockets uh, pockets just all in all random places so um, you're never gonna be have a shortage of pockets and then the next backpack i've got so i've got a big backpack to actually go on my back then i've got one which when i have my big one on it can go on my front um, and also say if I need to sort of go out for the day I can use that as like a day pack as well but it's this oh, I don't know how to say this either Borg House Borg Borg House whatever the fuck it's called that um, so just literally just a small little backpack um, with everything in it and it's just got loads of pockets everywhere um, it's got like an inside one which I can fit my MacBook in there so it's nice and secure because that will literally be like right here so need everything sorted to the front. So the next thing I've got is packing cubes. Um, when I've been doing my research online um, they just make it so organised so your tops go in one part um, your bottoms go in another part so on so on you can get the gist of that but it just makes everything organised and you know exactly where everything is you don't have to rummage through clothes nothing's going to get a mess they're all going to be in their own little compartments all rolled up and um, it just makes things a lot easier because last time my <laughs> my big back backpack I didn't have any packing cubes and it was honestly like a vortex trying to find something like it still opens obviously you've got a load in there you're just rummaging round and especially if you're in a rush it was just a nightmare so um, I thought about getting these packing cubes so they come with um, three sort of mesh got like a mesh thing on it there um, three of these which are quite big so these are for sort of like your main compartments of clothes and things like that um, but yeah so they open up and obviously you put things inside so you've got three of those you've got a little just random smaller square and then you've got a drawstring, a few drawstring bags like that that you can put other things in. 
um, and then just like a little wash bag and other little compartments. So I think that was only about um, £15, £12, something like that from Amazon. So I'll just show you what sort of clothes and things I've got so far. So I'm going to start off with bikinis. Um, I have got a few others on the way because I ordered just a load. Um, so I knew some of them, you know, some just don't fit as nice as, as you want them to. And obviously if you're buying online, it's hard to tell whether they're going to be flattering or not. So um, I've bought a few which have come and I do like them. And I've got a few on the way as well because I've sent some back. So um, the first one, which is probably my favourite one, this one's from ASOS. Um, it's from a company called South Beach. And it's just this fuchsia just Thai bikini, uh, which I feel like this is the best bikini that works for me because any others, because I'm quite big chested, um, they just they just don't work. I feel like most bikinis that I try and made for sort of smaller size boobs, so um, they're not really that flattering on myself. But I find these ones that you tie um, around the neck and around the back, they're just a lot easier and you can't really go wrong with them because obviously you can stretch them out if you need them bigger and things like that and ruche them up if they're too big and the bottoms are nice as well quite sort of high leg as well so they are really flattering on um but yeah so that's that the next one i got so this one is a really really bright one so i've got just a bandeau bikini you can't even see it because it's that bright jesus it's a neon yellow bandeau bikini it's actually really flattering on i've never had one of these bikinis these shaped bikinis before but it's actually really nice this is from h&m i think yeah from h&m i think the top was about 12 pounds and the bottoms must have been about the same as well um i'm not too sure i'll leave all the links down below and these again sort of like a bit high leg um and i just fancied something a bit different um, i'm liking sort of a neon look and these are just really really flattering on so um that's that and then i also got um just some other bottoms just on their own They'll be good to mix and match. You can put a black top on or um, I could wear them with the yellow or the purple. They're just sort of a good thing to have because you could put them with a load of different ones if you fancy mixing it up. But I've got a few more on the way. I've got an orange tie, um, sort of like a style like that. An orange one on the way. Um, and uh, I can't remember what else I've got on the way. I've got a few on the way anyway. So that's all the bikinis that I've got and I'm just putting them in this drawstring bag. I'm just going to uh, shove all those back in and slow it out in a bit. I'm going to move on to tops, so I've got most of my tops from Forever 21 um, and just a little short um, cheap summer tops, they do not disappoint at all, um, so I've got sort of a few light um, crop tops, a few bandeau tops, things like that and they're just easy basically, so I'll start off with this one, just got this little cropped um, white and red top, so that just literally comes to about there, so um, pretty easy for on with shorts or pants whatever you want the next thing i've got i just got this little bandeau top the next one i've got and um, which i thought was really cute it's quite simple um it's got honey written on the front and it's just literally like a, a tank top um again just cool light and easy it's not going to crease i really like that top it's just going to go with a few things i think um it's just easy one of them and then the next thing i got this one's from asos but it just caught my eye because i just thought it was dead simple and really nice what's the brand it's from a brand called daisy street so again it's just like a little cropped um thin top and it's quite fitted when you actually put it on um so it goes nice with shorts anything really it's got a little strawberry on the front um so i thought that was cute and i'm sure that was only about 10 pound as well and i got this really nice um bandeau top which is actually looks a bit of a strange shape and usually i wouldn't go for things like this because this bit because i've got a bigger chest like this bit here it's just not cute it's not flattering um because usually it doesn't give you any support but this one it's just it's very very nice and it comes up quite high so it's actually not that low as it looks and um, because you can adjust the straps as well which I like um, so it's just it's very flattering and it's sort of like a stretchy um, material and it's a bit ribbed moving on to the shoes that I've got so I've got these nude sandals so they're like pleather straps on the on the top um, and they're just nude and simple because they're going to go with a load of things so I can just throw them on with anything and they're quite padded as well which I like so I'm going to be doing quite a lot of walking so I need them to be a bit comfier um, and they were from ASOS and they were in the cheap and sure they were only about £15 I'm not too sure off the top of my head but I will leave everything linked down below so you can check it out if you do if you do like the look of those next thing that I've got as well um, I've just ordered some sliders just literally for 
and um, walking around hostels in and um, just easy to throw on shoes I'm not actually going out I want to chill by the pool and um, so I've got some Nike sliders um, and these are from ASOS again. I have also got some white pumps on the way as well. Just literally some simple uh, cheap trainers I can just throw on if I'm going sort of walking somewhere where it's not going to be really alright to wear sliders or sandals. Um, so I've got those on the way and um, I didn't want to take anything too fancy or expensive because there's, there's just no point. Um, things are going to get ruined, things are going to get lost, um, th there's no point really. That's basically the clothes that I've got so far and I just have my shoes in this little bag um, from that packing cube um, kit and um, so I've just bought a little bum bag even going to a market or going out for the night just easy to throw this on and you've got your zips here so everything's going to be close to you so you can put your money in the back one no one can get in there and it's better than a bag as well like a shoulder bag because no one can sort of grab it off or go in it when you're not looking because everything is literally like on the front of you so You've, you've got it there at all times and if anyone tries to go in you can you can see them so that's that also got a little first aid kit um as well which has got loads of little bits on this was off amazon so it's got <laughs> it's you sort of got a little package inside um and you've got instructions on the back so there's tweezers and tape and um, all sorts, safety pins, just a little kit of anything you possibly might need. I think there's scissors in there, earbuds, plasters, <laughs> there's like an aluminium sheet, there's just loads. So I just thought it's better to be safe and sorry and even you've got a load of plasters as well in case I get blisters, in case my shoe is rugby, you know, you just it's just handy to have, you never know when you're going to need it. So uh, grab one of them. Next thing, um, I've just got some aloe vera gel because, um, you know, um, you never know when you're gonna need that. <laughs> I've got a sort of like a hanging toiletry bag, um, which is just easy, just for ease really. Um, so I'll probably have things like uh, makeup and um, just toiletries really, um, soap and things like that, and your toothbrush, and it's just got a little hook so you can just hang that to wherever, um, and everything's in there, and then it folds up, and it's nice and compact so you're not taking up too much space either. The next thing I've got is a microfiber towel, and I literally got this from Aldi. Aldi's so handy for things like this, like in the special buy section, you just find things that you never knew you needed until you saw them. They're meant to dry really quick, and obviously, they fold up to be quite small so they don't take up that much space either rather than a big towel that would, would take up a lot of space in your backpack so um, I picked up one of them. Another thing that I've got as well is a little alarm um, just to make myself feel a bit safer. Something there that you can bring a bit of attention to yourself if you do need it. You're never going to sort of regret taking one of these and you've also got a little torch on there as well. Um, which I've not got batteries for but it's there. I'm pretty sure you just pull this out and it, the alarm goes off. Um, so if you're ever in a tight situation, you can pull that out and you've just got it there for a bit of peace of mind. I can attach that to um, in here so it's accessible and I've just got it always there if I need it. I think that is about it so far. So that's everything that I've got. I'm a bit more in control now. The other week I was so like getting so anxious and worked up because I just feel like I've not got anything sorted and I just feel like I've got so much to do um, and it's just coming up so quick because I was like when I filmed my last video I was like it's just under two months and I was like shit it's like I've literally not got anything I literally just had this <laughs> so I was like fuck I need to get a wiggle on here but I'm feeling a bit more karma about the whole situation i'm just really excited it's just really starting to kick in that i'm going away um, and it's just something that i've thought about for so long look forward to saved for <laughs> and oh, i'm just excited um it's all starting to materialize so that's it from me today if you did like this video then please let me know and i will do some more um planning and packing videos and things like that but yeah so that's it from me today i'm going to literally chill out finish this coffee which feels like it's cold now um so probably gonna make another coffee i think i'm just gonna have a family night tonight i think we're gonna play some board games drink some prosecco um and just chill out really um i've been in bits on my back recently i mentioned in my last video that it was sore but whoo i went to a physio session and she said that she sort of released the muscles down my back um because she said my back sort of like overly arched so when i stand up she said that this bit goes in too much um, so I'm putting pressure sort of on my lower back um, but I, I was getting sort of like shooting pains going up my spine like 
down my left leg, sort of pain in my knee, pain in my ankle, I was just in bits. So that's why I didn't put a video up last week, so I do apologise about that. I felt like a bit of a slacker, but I was just I was just not in the mood and not in the right <laughs> headspace to film at all, because I was just I was just in pain. It's not gonna be fun for anyone, me filming a video being in pain um, and feeling like I wanna be curled up in bed with a hot water bottle on my back. So <laughs> I just gave it a miss, so I hope you understood that. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling much better. Any questions that you want to ask me, uh, any videos you want to see, please let me know. I'll leave the link to my Instagram down below as well. So if you do like this video and you are interested in seeing more videos like this and seeing what I get up to on my backpacking trip, um, definitely keep, click the subscribe button because it's not long till I go at all and I'm so fucking excited and I'm excited to bring you along and sort of keep a video diary that I can watch back. So my next video is coming to you on the following Tuesday at 5pm so stay tuned. All the links to everything that I've got today will be in the description bar as well. So thank you so much for watching this video and I really do hope you've enjoyed it um, and I will see you in my next video.